What's happening everybody? This is Brian over at BPL Sports Cards and Collectibles coming back to you with another brand new video. Today guys, I'm going to go over some of my new mail that came in over the weekend. Uh, going to do some Lakers stuff. Uh, that's part of my uh, pickups this week. Uh, in the background, you can tell that uh, we have some LeBron stuff uh, showcasing in the back. Um, due to the recent um, world championship they won uh, this past week over the Miami Heat um, for the NBA title this year. Um, so a little bit different feel this year for the NBA bubble. No live crowd. Uh, just basically telecasting on, on TV. It's kind of a weird situation for the league. Hopefully next year we can get back to live basketball and whatnot. But uh, this mail day is to arrive around... Um, LeBron James. So we're going to shout out LeBron James. Congratulations to him and the Lakers this year. Uh, my uh, my Celtics didn't quite make it. The Heat took him out in the, the conference finals. Uh, hopefully we get back there next year and we'll be better for it then. Uh, we're going to get into what I got this week. Um, a couple of different lots. Um, it's fitting so and great timing that both of these lots, I believe, are LA based. Um, I'll get into showing you what they are. As soon as I got all the painter's tape off of this one. Um, got a pretty nice score from the wife this week. She, uh, I'll show you in a brief moment what it is. But we're going to get into uh, these cards here. Um, and we got into a Magic Johnson lot. Now, I don't think I paid more than a couple dollars for this with some free shipping. Um got into Magic, or starting to pick up a lot of Magic Johnson stuff because of the fact that, um, well, now the Lakers have won a championship, so um, that's going to boost his value and interest. But uh, the new, there's a rumored to be a, a documentary coming out next year, um, and just like the land stands, I'm sure it's going to drive a lot of interest up for uh, Magic Johnson. Um, so in this one here, this is a 96 Stadium Club. Kind of a commemorative thing for him coming back to the NBA. Uh, we have the 90 Fleer base card. So any of his older stuff. Uh, 91 Upper Deck is the All-Star card. We got uh, 95, I believe. 95. Oh, 96. 96 SP. 90 Hoops. Uh, that is the base and I think, hopefully that's not damaged and it's just a, nope, not too bad. Thought there was something wrong with that corner. Uh, that one there and the short print all-star cards. This looks way off center. Um, as you can tell, it's thicker on one side versus the other side and it's a little crooked too. Those edges aren't all that great. But... Uh, 90 or 89 hoops all-star uh, also got uh, the 90 or 89 hoops base and I think I bought this card as well for my vintage collection and this is 90 Fleers all-stars and that is a Charles Barkley that is uh, off-center obviously left to right and it doesn't look too bad up you know up and down little off center in the back as you can tell two stars versus one probably wasn't supposed to be two stars there and you can see left and right there but uh, that's that's one lot uh, like I said I mainly bought it for the Magic Johnson's I'm starting to compile quite a bit of his cards uh, relatively speaking to go along with all of these guys you know just doubling up on some of them some are in better condition uh, and uh, if you can get your hands on any of the uh, prisms, which I was able to get three of them in one lot, and I showed you guys last time some of these older ones, especially the 87 Fleer and 89 Fleer. But uh, yeah, those will all be going in this pile, be stockpiling Magic Johnson cards for a while. Um, and the other one is another Magic Johnson's lot, but this one here, it looks like I got an extra, so I'll take the Optic Anthony Davis. 
I think that might have been a throw in, but uh, as soon as I get into it, we'll see what the business is. So on the front there, we have an Anthony Davis who's just obviously protecting some more. Oh, we also got something else in there. So this must be some extras. We got uh, there and Shaq, Hall of Fame, nice. So we got a Mosaic Shaq Hall of Fame and a Anthony Davis. And I believe that's just a plain base one, not a hollow. But I will take that. It'll come in handy for resale value shortly. Now that we know that they've won the championship, anything Lakers is going to go through the roof. But I'm going to hang on to that Shaq because he's part of my collection that I've been slowly building of 90s players that are rather good. I uh, got this for six bucks. Got Mosaic Magic Johnson Hall of Fame lot. We got one pink camo. I thought it was a steal for six bucks for this lot. We got one, two, three, four, and five. Five Hall of Frame. And this this pink camo for six ninety nine and free shipping. Can't go wrong. Uh, like I said, with the uh, documentary coming out, anything uh, Magic Johnson will be popping off as soon as he gets in, uh, into the limelight or ESPN announces that particular um, documentary. We saw what a kind of crazy hype it drove up for the Last Dance and Michael Jordan cards. Um, you know, reasonably speaking, uh, it, it can do a lot of, a lot of good for uh, hyping people out in um, certain collections. Um Along with uh, Magic Johnson and Shaq and uh, these guys here, LeBron, uh, they are the champs for this year. Uh, we'll hopefully meet up with them in the finals next year. Um, get out there and find any Magic Johnson cards, guys. I'm telling you, it's going to be one of those things. Get on the, on the early now, get them for cheap before. Um, I've already started seeing a lot of prices uh, go up, um, especially some of his, his uh, mid-80s cards. Um, and those chromes and selects have definitely jumped in price. Uh, get them now while you can. I don't know if there's anything out there still to grab, but it's worth a shot at this point. Um, so that's going to do it for this particular video. I want to say thank you for stopping by. If you happen to like this stuff, do me a favor and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content, guys. Always trying to put out more stuff on a consistent, regular basis for you guys, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.